This is locked. Ooh, guys, that's kind of mysterious. Kenneth Cole, there's a nice watch. It's a nice, really nice set right there. That's a few hundred bucks. 189, 149. So that's good fun. Good fun. We're talking like 450 to 600 for a pair. Right out the gate. Got something good. Oh my goodness, that's nice. Another nice looking helmet. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Darth Vader, eight gigabyte. Yeah, that's cool. I think it's from the Mandalorian. That's really cool. Star Wars, oh my goodness, waffle maker. McDonald's Tennis McNugget. Wow. Jet Jet Nano G. Oh, that's cool. Little tiny uh, drone. Oh, look how cool that is. Anyways, I saw this and that got me excited. Nikon. It's a jewelry box, guys. And it's got some jingle jingle. Let's see what's inside. All right, what is up Locker Nuts? Okay, we just got done with the flea market. I mean, in fact, I just got here to Milpitas after coming all the way back from Stockton. And it's locker time. We're gonna clean out this 10 by 25. I'm excited. There's still a few more boxes to go through and there looks like some good stuff in those boxes. So uh, yeah, hopefully we got some surprises ahead. But most of this trip right now, I've got the trailer. You can see it right here behind me, this huge trailer. Is for the most part clean well not clean it's actually kind of dirty but it's empty that's what i mean empty all right we've got a couple things in here that i just couldn't let go at the dollar sale like come on the creeper's worth way more than that tables a few empty bins but really there's nothing in here uh it's ready to be filled up again this is how we came home from the flea market actually we had two more big boxes and more empty totes i unloaded those at my locker on the way home let's get in it and see how we left it last time Yeah, there's the fun alarm <laughs> Okay, looks a little messy back there, but that's how I left it <laughs> It's my own fault. So this right here is the good stuff good stuff the couple of vintage technique speakers right there Those are those are decent. I think they have a couple hundred bucks value We'll bring them to the better flea market and uh, I don't know what we'll get but these stack one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven black and yellow totes plus a little bit of stuff up there and I don't remember if there's some stuff over there. Oh this the welder, maybe that, I don't remember what's in there. That's the good stuff. That's the really good stuff that we're gonna take home and do a second pass. And then we got uh, stuff over here. That's just gonna go to the flea market. Some of this stuff I gotta take a closer look at in, in uh, research. There's the Bauer blower right there. A couple bookshelf speakers. These, oh man, what do I do with these? These could go to the flea market, but we'll get almost nothing. And then over here to this side, this is all stocked and stuff, ready to go, processed, not impressed, <laughs> ready to go. Uh, gotta look at these still, gotta look at all this stuff still on that, but um, really nice metal table right here, work table, and uh, this is a Craftsman miter saw. I think we still have to look in there. I believe that dresser is empty, and dang it, those that matches the side dressers that we sold today, the side tables, end tables, or whatever you call them, N uh, nightstands. A couple couches there, man, the couch today we sold for a dollar, that's it. Table base there, and okay, well, there's still good stuff, and then of course the fridge, yeah. That sucks. The fridge sucks. Fridge sucks. This looks like this goes on the table right here. And from the feel of it, I think that I think that might be glass. Big oval glass to go on top of that. That will that that will probably sell. Probably. Speaker box up here. This is all stocked and stuff ready to go. Well, anyways, guys, you probably know all this because you saw the last video. If you didn't, go back and watch it. In fact, go back and watch the whole series if you're interested in this locker because this is a 10 by 25. There was a quad in the front. I paid 30, a little over 3,700 for it. Tons of tools. It just looks so good. And it's been good, but not like really good. Or maybe it's been really good, but not really, really, really good. You know what I'm saying? So, <sighs> Behind that fridge though, there's some at least some Funko Pops. I can see them and maybe a lot more collectibles. Please, 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 let's find out right now. I'm just gonna start loading the trailer. All right guys, Ooh, made some good progress. Didn't take too long either. Uh, we're exposing some of the back side there. Ooh, that sounded wrong. Oh. <laughs> Here's the here's the trailer so far. It's doing pretty good. 
It's, it's kind of compact. Things are coming together. Kind of like Tetris. Playing Tetris. Did you guys see that movie Tetris? That was a great movie. Check it out. I strongly advise watching that. It was, it was, it was really good. All right, but here. <sighs> okay. I, uh, this is great. This is what we can see from the side here. Funko Pops, yes. Uh, but then there's, uh, ooh, what's it? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's a cricket. It's a cricket machine right there. Oh, okay, maybe that's a good one, but I don't know. I see bigger things in there. And then this one down below doesn't appear to have Funkos. Maybe it's got some other stuff. I see Raider stuff, which is all right, uh, but that's not. All right, that's just a big TV uh, stand or whatever. Big piece of furniture, basically. Yeah, wood back there. Wood here, and I use the term wood loosely because it's just a laminated particle board. Okay. Let's go up that. Oh, wait, what? What? This is locked. Ooh, guys, that's kind of mysterious, right? Hmm. Feels kind of light, but there could be stuff in there. Uh, the next thing I'm going to start doing is get some of this big furniture on. Oh, look at this Coda. What's that for? I can't remember if I found a machine by Coda. Oh, look at this. This was a, it has a lock right here. Airstrip attack. I don't know what that is. What's this? Reaction. Kenneth Cole, there's a nice watch. That's good. That's good. Fine. Hangover. What's this? Surface material thickness. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I don't see much else in here. Yep, it's paperwork. Some little supplies and all. Screws. That was fun while it lasted. Two seconds. These are already checked, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, those are all empty. So, okay, I just wanted to kind of show you, and there's a Christmas tree. Today our Christmas tree did not sell for $1. We had a seven and a half footer. And our tr Christmas tree did not sell for $0. Our Christmas tree, which was in the box, went to the dump pile. Isn't that a shame? Hopefully someone takes it before the end. Ooh, this is kind of good though. This right here, Dyson. That's a little bit better. Okay, I saw this one right here and it's Actually, that's a Mealy. I was like, oh, that because it looks really funky down here. That's a Mealy. That's a good brand, right? Mealy, good brand. And Dyson, good brand. Okay. Uh, see furniture back here, guys. Mm. Fast Track Closet, Rubbermaid, Closet Organizers. And then, of course, this Body Power, Health and Fitness, uh, Inversion Chair, whatever you call it, Inversion Table. So, mm. This over here, Iowa, I think we looked at that before, AV-D67. I think we looked at it before, but maybe we didn't. These are Yamahas. It's got some damage to this, the grill right there. There we go. Yeah. Tweeters are kind of popped in and someone pressed them with their fingers. You get new tweeters, but still. This still might be something, I don't know. And I still haven't figured out what this thing is air conditioning product i still got to figure that out maybe i've already put on something on the last video i don't know to see what it is this i'm excited about right here weeder dumbbells it's a nice really nice set right there that's a few hundred bucks it's hoping for a little bit more mystery well we got these to go through in this let me keep uh let me keep let me get some furniture out of here and we'll go from there Okay, that beat my hands up. <laughs> I pinched it on the chair. I just pinched it against the tire. That is a heavy, very heavy piece right there, that metal workbench, which is why I love it so much. Because <laughs> it's as sturdy as heck. But it, that, was a, that was a difficult piece to move by yourself. Even with two people would be a struggle, but uh, whew, I think that should be a couple hundred bucks really, but the market, probably 50 bucks. All right guys, check this out. I got this Mealy vacuum cleaner down and it it does definitely need to be cleaned up man it's so dirty there but you can tell it's quality mealy also naturally those things are missing probably we sold them or threw them away today probably is mixed up in all the other bins knowing these guys because they were so disorganized but check this out i got the model number down here s7210 and so i put train come on uh, i looked it up on ebay and look at this sold pre-owned 189 149 142 eh, there's 99 
That is a uh, very decent, decent vacuum right there. That is not just an average junky old vacuum. This is something special right here. So it's good fun, good fun. All right guys, a couple items. I got this down. This big boy was on the very top of the speakers up there. And it is also a little bit expensive. I looked up the solds on eBay. I think a pair of them sell for 400. So it should be 200. Maybe it's 150 on its own. Yamaha's I didn't look up, but I, I wasn't too impressed. These, however, oh, I'm really not sure what to do with these. Realistic. They are from the 1970s and they definitely have that look and that vibe. These are in rough, rough shape though. And they are very heavy extremely heavy so i looked these up and i don't find any solds on ebay i found one on reverb we're talking like 450 to 600 for a pair but those are in nice shape these are not in nice shape so oh, i'm kind of debating what to do with those should i bring them to stockton i know i won't get my money i know i won't get my money hmm i just don't really want to bring those danza because they're so big i'm still going to think about that what to do still thinking still thinking all right, and then back here, got a matching dresser right here to the other pieces. Uh, and there's a missing drawer, but we already put that drawer. I, it was loose, and of course, I don't throw it away. And I already packed it, so at least we got it. Um, that will get us maybe 40, 40 to 50 bucks at the market. And I'm saying that because it's on its side. I'm sure it's going to be all scuffed up. It's not great quality to start with, and then it's not been taken care of. So 40 to 50 bucks is my guess on that one piece. And then we had the taller one, probably 30 bucks on that one. Okay, guys, Whew, I'm out of breath a little bit. I got two hours and uh, gotta fit all that in here. How am I gonna do that? I'm not exactly sure, but the shelves do collapse. It's a real pain in the butt to get them to collapse, but I might have to do that. That might have to be my last resort is to collapse these shelves. I hope not, I hope not. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to. <laughs> oh dang it, that sucks. Okay, well anyways, a little over two hours. They close at 6.45. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. Let's go through these clothes real quick, or whatever these are. I think they're clothes. Oh, Foo Fighters. <laughs> right out the gate. Got something good. A Foo Fighters jacket, probably from the concert. I can go. Oh, that is nice. Super Bowl champions, Raiders. And it's an NFL Triple XL jacket. That's a really nice piece. Definitely that's going to better flea market. Centos work clothes. Warriors basketball. That's, num that's stuff Curry's number, number 30, size 56. Yep, Curry. That's a nice piece. And that's a Nike dry fit. Definitely at least 20 bucks on that, at least. And guys, just to let you know, whenever I call out a number like that, that's my flea market piece uh, price. That's when I bring it to the better market and get a cash transaction. Not when I'm going to sell, sell it to someone online and ship it and go through all the extra time and expense of getting it to somebody. That's, that's, not, uh, that's not the price we talk about. 5XL on this shirt right here, Day of the Dead. That's a cool, cool shirt. Okay, a little bit good stuff. I swear, the best stuff I found in this whole locker might be the clothes. The clothes might bring us the most money. Wallace, number 30. It's a different number 30. This Portland Trailblazers. It's also a Nike. And triple XL. Is that what it said? Double XL. So I saw, oh, Portland 76ers. Oh, what did I say? Trailblazers? 76ers. Double XL on that. Good. Good size. Flyway Pills. Dickies. Huh. Drake's Brewing Company. I'm gonna put that aside. It's kind of cool. Blue Gear BG Triple XL. It's a nice looking shirt. All right, guys, we got probably I, I I'm I'm thinking a hundred bucks in this bag right here, not including the stuff going to stocking. That's a good bag. This right here, blanket. What is this? Love. One love. Bob Marley. It's like a shawl or something, but you can hang it on the wall. Bring that to the better market. And this is some sheets right here. An extension cord. Okay, this is a, another high-end motorcycle jacket right here. Joe Rocket. I say that only because it's got like plastic shielding in here. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Heavy duty, it's got all this plastic armor in there. Joe Rocket, it looks like it's in good shape too. You know what guys, I'm gonna put it aside. 
I'm sorry. When I bring it to Stockton, they just do not get very much money. This is a nice fan right here. This one. And that one's a decent, but no biggie. This bin's a little heavy right here. Let me peel some of it off. All right, there's a jack right there. Takes one to no one. Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right, nice sleeping bag here. Yeah, that's what it be. O'Neill helmets. Ooh, wait a sec. Let's bring this over. Oh my goodness, that's nice. That is barely used right there. Five series O'Neill motors motocross, and it comes with goggles and some gloves. Dang, that's really nice. I've never sold a helmet online. I don't think. I'm kind of feeling like maybe I need to do that. eBay might be the best place for that, or Facebook Marketplace. But oh, look at the San Jose Shark shoes. That's fun. Op Triple X. A's, it's a little ratty. It's got some damage to it. I'll let it go. And this right here, looks like another helmet. Yes, another helmet. Another nice looking helmet. It's a little dirty in the front where the mud was hitting them. Uh, it looks like it's $159.99 right there. What's that say? CL-X5N. Huh. Okay, well, I don't know what to do with that. Maybe another eBay. Nice hat, Barcelona. Probably um, soccer. Yeah, bulb. Some nice hilty drill bits right there. He's athletic. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at this, guys. What do we got here? Yes. There's the prescription I was looking for. What ails me right there? A little bit more way back to the profit here. Some little drill bits. And MSR boots right here. Motorcycle boots. I think I sold a pair of boots and a jacket today for 15 bucks. And the reason it was so cheap was it was towards the end of the day. And uh, we were about to lose our buyers to, you know, the dollar sale. So I was happy to get 15, but I wasn't happy to get 15. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was happy, but I wasn't happy. If that makes any sense at all. Okay. What we got here? Blankets. And that looks like all blankets. Okay. This box is kind of heavy though. Oh, I see why. A whole bunch of chemicals in here. Yep. That kind of sucks. Alright. Yeah, a little bit of tools too, but. Oh yeah, two more. Come on, we could do it guys, we could do it. Oh man, I almost feel like we should take this home and go through it. Do it right, but... Oh my goodness guys, look at this. Magic the Collection Edition. That's cool, I didn't... I mean, I guess they, they would have made some of those. I didn't know. I didn't know. Cry Cut Infusible Ink right there. Oh, that's gonna be good. Bubby Wallace. Oh, nice. This potato head. It's a little Toy Story. Bolo knows Raid ER Nation. Oh, Raider Nation. <laughs> okay. Oh, guys. This is a jewelry box right there. And that's a camera in there. You know what? We're taking this home. This is gonna go home. We're gonna do it right. I'm too tired and I'm too rushed. I'm too pressed for time right now. I gotta get this thing packed up. Otherwise, I gotta drive all the way out here again in traffic. Who wants to do that? I need time to maybe collapse these. So let me load this in the back of the truck and I'll load that in the back of the truck. We'll go through those at home. We're gonna wrap this day. Thank you guys. Don't go anywhere because I'm probably gonna wait till tomorrow to go through that stuff, but you guys aren't. You're gonna go through it right now because as soon as I turn this off, I'll turn it back on tomorrow. We'll go through that, we'll have fun. Let me do all the hard work. You guys just sit right there and uh, do whatever you're doing, you know? Munching on some carrot sticks, drink your water. What's up? <laughs> Manager thinks I'm crazy. He might have a point. You guys don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, guys, it is, uh, well, this is Saturday. That was Wednesday, so it's been three days. I'm ready to get into it. We've been really busy. Thursday, we had a whatnot show. Friday, I was packing and shipping for almost the entire day. That was yesterday. But anyways, we got these two really interesting looking totes right here. And then, of course, we got this right here. You know, oh, sorry, did I wake you, Luna? 
<laughs> we got that locked uh, file cabinet. I can't tell if there's anything in there. Something's shifting around, but it could be nothing. It could be like a couple notepads. I really can't tell. The, the uh, furniture piece itself is very heavy. So, I mean, heavy, not very heavy, but it's heavy. So I can't tell if it's full of stuff or if it's just the weight of the particle board. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll pop it open and see what's in there. First, let's grab these totes and get digging. You stay right there. You're fine. Don't be alarmed. It's okay. I got this. Oh, yeah, it's heavy, though. <clears throat> oh my goodness. This is a very large tote. It's not like, oh, we got two totes to go through. Um, this is like two totes on its own, you know? Capacity. Alright, I love that. Oh, so cool. It's a helmet. I didn't I didn't realize that. I thought it was part to something. Neat. R2D2 helmet. I definitely like that. Raiders. Raiders. Riders. Some nice snapback hats there. Those go to the flea market. Ooh, U.S. Air Force. Iraqi Freedom Veteran. Oh, wow. That's very, very cool. And uh, anyone watching this that served as well, I just wanted to personally thank you for your service. We do not take that for granted. Uh, our freedoms, including buying lockers, going through it, putting out YouTubes, having a house, all this stuff. It's only because of people who served. So I definitely, definitely appreciate that there's a nice little piece right here star wars lego admiral akbar led light too okay that's a nice little whatnot piece right there okay what's this a couple pieces of uh tupperware or something hmm. i don't know what that is okay plastic wear <laughs> some of this plastic wear just looks like stuff you got from a takeout you know doggy bag type stuff Oh, there's another one. Oh, this is a USB flash drive. Darth Vader, 8 gigabyte. Very neat. That's great stuff for whatnot. Great stuff for whatnot. Okay. What have we got in here? Reader's face mask. Little bottle sleeve right there. Okay. Window for window flag for your car. Let the 2012 tailgate begin. It looks like it's missing the pull cord right there. Little apron. M neck tag Raiders 9.99. Jeez. All right, some metal Christmas ornaments maybe. 2020 Raiders lanyard. Oh, that's neat. Raiders. Yeah, some sort of bracelet. It's cool. It's got the paracord though, so in just case of emergency, you need that. Oh, and this fell out. Raiders decal. Maybe we'll do like a Raiders lot. I don't know. I don't know. Jeez, we definitely got enough Raider stuff. It's been a while since we did a Raiders lot. Maybe we will. Man, we got a lot of Raiders stuff. We might do a couple of Raiders lots. Some gloves. Some kind of piece for the window there. Wow, it's NFL branded and it's got the holographic sticker. Velcro right here. Yeah, you put it up on the wall. It's a little flattened out. I mean, needs to be flattened out. Oh. Ooh, I just heard the postman. And he's out there. I got a few eBay sales to get out today all right now the fun wait okay this one's got funko pops too the other one is the funko pops but zor 2 bliss zori bliss from star wars yeah that's cool i think it's from the mandalorian another star wars janna oh how funny janna spells her name that way but it's not that common of a name very cool a little bow and arrow uh finn 309 nice and what is this for cold drinks only oh it's actually a oh they had pinned it up oh that's neat why did this show that's really cool well they put the 3m strip on here that comes right off but probably attach it to the wall a little drink holder I think the straw goes in there that's cool okay what's this gordon Bur biersch brewery that's for, i think for brewing beer pretty sure Drake's Brewing Company, or they're just shelf pieces. There's a Star Wars cup. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Another Han Solo piece, probably. Promo. There's a Raiders bag, right? No, it's an apron. Oh, hey, that's kind of neat. I like it. Got here, Masterpiece Railways. Okay, it's for uh, running your choo-choo train. Did we find any train stuff in this locker? I didn't think so. Orson Krennic, another Star Wars Rogue One. 
CB, 6B, Target exclusive, the Star Wars piece. R2-D2 concept series, very nice. I like the concept series stuff, it's cool. There's a wobbler, so it's a bobblehead, I guess. Oh yeah, bobbleheads. Made by Funko, it's a Darth Vader. Hopefully we can get some comps on the screen for you guys to check out uh, what the values is. Raider Nation, baby. Uh, yeah, this definitely we got a little bit of value here at the end. Oh, nice, look at this. Their vinyl series, Star Wars, Chewbacca and C-3PO. It's by Funko, but they're like cartoony looking. Nice, Pyrex. And design a planter. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Looks like it's still sealed. It's funny, it's not much to it, it's very light. Okay, what else we got now? The Black Ranger. Oh, it's a Power Ranger. That's cool, it's a Pocket Pop from Funko. Neat, another great whatnot piece. A little bottle, Star Wars branded bottle. Leak proof, cool. Coo coo coo. What's this? Nothing. What's this? Ah, uh, Baby Yoda. The Mandalorian. Okay. I know his name's Grogu, but it just sounds cooler as Baby Yoda. There's some black paper here, and I'll hold on to that. I'll use that for shipping. I do use it for shipping. Huh. Okay. It's kind of a print with the plane on it. Now the Raiders window flag. Oh my goodness, look at this, they even got a Raiders train by Bachman. Made in China. We'll put that with the Raiders stuff. Okay. Ah, oh, funny. So that locker I got with all the, wait, was with all the Funko Pops. We got some of these, these dolls. Or whatever, action figures, but they look like dolls. They're almost like Barbie dolls. Kylo Ren. Almost, I, I kind of think we had that exact same one. But I might be wrong. There's a Star Wars, oh my goodness, waffle maker. Mini waffle maker. Hilarious. Ooh, better. Child, the child. String lights. Little lights for with the Grogu on it. That's good. That's cool. Nice Air Force picture board there. Okay, now what's in here? Oh, okay. There's the rest of that train. Huh. Okay, so now that's probably what the controller goes to. The controller meaning that thing there. Picture frame. Picture frame. Raiders parking. And Raiders metal sign. Alright. Alright, I just separate all the stuff. That's the go to the Dienza. This is the stuff probably going to our whatnot. And a bunch of Stockton stuff I threw over there. So let's get this one and see what's in here. This is the one we started with. And I paused everything because it looks so good. Why well, the totes alone probably 15 to 20 bucks each. Okay, guys, lots and lots of pop pops here. NASCAR, Bubba Wallace, and Rachel from Blade Runner. Those are the two. I think we already saw those two. Oh, wow. Axel Foley? No kidding. Beverly Hills Cop. That's great. And here's another NASCAR, Jeff Gordon. That'll be a good seller. They've got these uh, 3M things here. You can tell he hung it on the wall. But these are nice because they, they do pull off. Frozen, Matthias, Matthias, another Blade Runner, Pris, the Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance, the Chamberlain, Dom Toretto, Fast and Furious, I've had that exact same one before, how funny, from the Funko Pop Locker, Blade Runner, Roy Batty, somebody liked the Blade Runner, well who doesn't, right, it's a great movie, Jacob Toretto, uh, this one's got a broken window, but it's Venus Williams. Oh, nice, for tennis, tennis player. Very cool. This is the magic one we saw before, Jace Bellerin. Legacy collection. Hopefully that's worth some money. I've never found those before. Miss Potato Head, okay, we saw that. Lil Wayne, what? Lil Wayne, what? No, that's a terrible impersonation. <laughs> Premium vinyl figure. This is another Funko piece, but it's like a little different. Here's another one. Oh, Ice Cube! Hey, hey! I just saw an interview with Ice Cube, and I must say, I have even more respect for the guy. I like him. Seems to have a level head on his shoulders. Another Blade Runner piece, Wreck Deckard. And NASCAR, Dale Earnhardt Jr., another easy sale. Lots of fans in that. Okay, there's Cricket, or Cricket Infusible Ink. So, probably like an ink cartridge. Oh, this is good. This is all Cricket stuff right here. Heck yes! Look at this. We got the paper. 
we got aluminum sheets, whatever this is, more paper, some Cricut pens. This is great stuff, guys. Very good. Because I know, man, we had hit that one locker a while, this is a while ago now. And uh, so much Cricut stuff it was... Uh, it's what saved me. They had some jewelry boxes in that locker that wound up being empty. And I think it was because the facility was uh, corrupt on that one. I think the facility plundered it. It had so much brand new Cricut stuff. It was it made it well worth it. Eva Duvernay, Duvernay, director. Hey, what's his name again? I don't remember. Finn. There's another Finn character thing. A little action figure with the Force Link. Nice. Good stuff. We love the toys, especially... Especially Star Wars. St. Michael right here. Candle. That'll sell at the market. For some reason, I don't know, there's some, some people that are into those things. They, they burn those candles. It's part of a religious uh, practice, I guess. There's Destiny, the video game. Hawthorne with Luis or Lewis. McDonald's. Tennis McNugget. Wow. Never seen that one yet. Chitty Anagonye from The Good Place. I haven't seen that. It's, I think it's on Amazon. NASCAR Dale Earnhardt. Okay, we got father and son. Oh, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> it's a little Bluetooth speaker. You charge it up, turn it on. That's cool. And what's this? Huh, I'm not sure what that is. Another Star Wars bottle, just like the other one. Got two exactly the same. Jet Jet Nano G. Oh, that's cool. A little tiny uh, drone. Brand new. Oh, it records video? What the heck? Shoots photos? What? And it has a two gigabyte card included. This is probably, that doesn't seem like that could be too cheap. What's this thing? Legends of Racing. Why is it, why is there food coming out of it? Why is there food coming out? There should not be food coming out, right? Why is there food coming out? Why is it open? It might just be so old the plastic's deteriorating. Oh no, that's kind of gross though. Hmm. Lee Petty, it says. Oh, yes, I remember now because we had this and, of course, the jewelry box right here. Right, let's, let's go around that. Still getting to it. Marvel Black Panther, a little figurine right there. Good. Bolts, bulldozer. Almost looks like Lego, a little assembly, a little toy that kids put together. Oh, that's cool. Star Wars Disney mug. Chewbacca with hot chocolate. I think we've had one of those before. Not Chewbacca, though. And Wakanda Forever, Marvel, little pin set. Yeah, yes. This is this box is obviously not our all our money back because we have so we have thirty seven hundred and thirty dollars into this locker. This is not that much, but this is definitely helps us get into the profit here. That's a nice looking bowl right there. I really like that piece. Black Panther. So this is a lunchbox. Yeah, I think it's a lunchbox. They don't make them like they used to. It's a flimsy metal, but it's cool, cool looking though. It's not meant to last. Oh yeah, here's another one. Hot chocolate with Darth Vader this time. Very nice. What is this thing? I guess it's for the table, like a table runner for the middle of the table. I don't know. We might put that in our live auction. If I didn't mention it before, guys, our live auction is meaning whatnot. And look at this. Got a couple more candles here too. St. Michael, same as that one. And Angel de la Guardia. Guardian Angel. Okay, uh, yeah, there are, um, whatnot auctions are live, and we usually do them on Thursdays. This next week we're doing on Monday. You won't, you, that'll already way, be way past by the time you see this video, but we go live on their app. They have a live streaming app that's made for auctions. I'm not sure why that's taped in there, but we'll leave it. Another Black Panther cheap, uh, cheap, 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 cheap lunch pail. Okay. <laughs> Just that would only be for collectability. That would not be for an elementary school kid to take to school every day. It just would not work for that. Yeah, but we live stream on whatnot, guys, and it is a lot of fun. I know a lot of you are tired of hearing me say it, but I will say. Oh, oh wait a second. Get, let me get distracted for a second. Look how cool that is. That's C-3PO, and it's got his arm for the handle. That is super cool. I really like that one. Oh wait, this one does too. I didn't realize that. That's Darth Vader's arm. And this one, Chewbacca, it's got his bandolier. Yeah, I like it. It's different. 
made in Thailand right there. It's a nice little coffee cup set. Uh, but yeah, whatnot, guys. I mean, look, guys, we have actually it up right here. Don't pay attention to that. I'll probably get copyright or something. But right here, I'm loading our whatnot show and uh, just loaded. What did I just load? This guy right here. It's a metal Pokemon card that I found and mixed in with Legos, surprisingly. So uh, that came from that Lego locker. And I listed it. You see right there, uh, everything starts at $1. You can see right there, everything starts at $1. Uh, but yeah, the, the, I'm looking at it on the browser but I do suggest you use your phone for it because the phone is going to be a lot more interesting let's go down to the state sale category like we go into and uh, oh here let's look at this guy right here and uh, he's doing a one right here so you can bid nine dollars got a bunch of video games laid out he's another storage buyer right here yeah pretty cool so it now bids at $23 you can click on it but like I always say, uh, use your phone, use your tablet. It's made for the mobile devices, so it's a different experience and you're gonna like that better because that will enable you to enter the free giveaways, which there are, which we do, which some of the stuff we found here, I was already thinking like, oh, that'd actually be kind of a fun little giveaway. So uh, you might see some of these items coming up in the giveaway or for auction. I mean, all these Funko Pops are gonna be available for auction for sure because those are really popular. These probably also, the cry cut machine, we'll get to that, probably not because it's so heavy. A lot of collectibles. We, we save our collectibles and really our good stuff for whatnot. But guys, if you want to join whatnot, meaning sign up for it, install the app and get started, make sure that you use our, our link. It'll be in the description of this video. You can always, always also find it on our website, www.lockernuts.com. It's so easy. Come on, it's so easy. Uh, Lockernuts.com. We always put the links to get to get signed up with whatnot because when you use our link, you're going to get $15 spending credit for free. Okay, that's whatnot paying you to try out the platform and they're sure that you're going to like it so much that they're willing to invest $15 for every person who like basically signs up and buy something. I mean, you have to buy something to get a $15 credit. If you don't buy anything, there's no credit, right? And uh, it's only a limited time offer, guys. So check it out, but also uh, join us. We have so much fun. Like I said, if it's, we usually do it on Thursdays. Sometimes it's a little different. Sometimes we skip a week, but usually Thursday is when you can find us. But again, go to the website and you'll see our upcoming show. I always link the next event on our schedule. All all right, guys, thanks for listening. Let's get back to digging. All right, we also found the child right here. Unfortunately, this box is a little mangled. Again, don't worry about these 3M things. They come off. I don't think they'll leave a trace. It's nice that 3M products are designed for that, but the box a little dented up. But the child, we found these so many times with different things, like he's got a frog in his mouth, or he's, you know, he's doing different stuff. Uh, this is a fun find for sure. I don't know what these balls are for. There's a little Star Wars lightsaber here, just a toy. Avengers, ooh, it's a T, and it's got the Black Panther. What do you call that? Reticulated. Neat. Got some wall decals here, I think, window cling or something. Yeah, that's neat. That's something we might put in the auctions. It's fun. Now, the Cricut machine, Cricut, however you pronounce it, very expensive. Let's get that out in a second, because uh, I want to see what's in here. Okay, this wood bowl, first of all, is pretty neat. There's the lid. Ah, it's cracked. Dang it. That sucks. Uh, someone could probably make a new one, but anyways, I saw this, and that got me excited. Nikon. Looks like a nice little camera. Cool pics. L110. Let's get a comp on that and figure out, is it really good, or is it nothing? So it looks like it takes four double A's and a data card there, which we don't have. Probably already found it somewhere. Oh, that was it. No, wait. Yes, that was it. Okay. The wood piece. Yeah, that'll go to the market. Maybe the better market. Camera, definitely. We're going to look that up a bit. It's got some value. I'll test it. If it's got little value, we'll just put it in a bulk lot. Okay. Getting to the end of this. All right. That sounds good. It's a jewelry box, guys. And it's got some jingle jingle. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> the jingle jingle is batteries. Dang it. That's some kind of an adapter. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. Okay, well, anyways, jewelry box got chip right here. It's a lacquered jewelry box. Not too impressed with that. Whatever. All right, now, the Cricut Maker. This, oh, that's pretty nice. Um, adaptive tool system, it says right there. So I think this is for cutting out things like paper or thin pieces of metal. I think that's essentially what the Cricut does, Cricut. MN is CXPL301. CXPL301. Let me look that up real quick. All right, guys. That's a good sign. $146 sold. 
$180 sold. This with the, some other stuff with it. $220. This says it comes with an iron on bundle. Oops, hopefully this fan's not messing up our audio. It is a little warm today, so I have that fan on. Um, okay, there's one ninety bucks sold, pre-owned. There's one seventy, one forty. It's kind of all over the board a little bit, but 82, 160, 160, 400, 125. Huh. Okay. Yeah, it's strong prices. I think 100 to 150 is probably a pretty fair estimate, especially considering that we have like, I found this too, this mat, but we have this whole bag of stuff right there. And whatever this is, it's toner. It's sealed. Sealed brand new. Oh, these are transfer sheets. I thought they were ink, but they're just transfer sheets and they're not that much. $3, $4, okay. Not that much, so no bigs on that. But the pen sets here, 20 bucks on that one. If, it, if the ones we got are similar to that, pens are worth more. So this, yeah, because of the weight on it, uh, oops, I forgot it does that. <laughs> I will probably not put that on whatnot uh, because it's just too hard to ship it. I'll probably do that locally, um, but who knows? Who knows? Guys, just tune into our auctions and see what we sell. Uh, but if it's not on whatnot, it'll probably be gone by the time you see this video because I don't sit on this stuff for very long. It goes to the flea market, gets sold on Facebook Marketplace or wherever. Um, it goes quick unless it's for the auction like this stuff. Uh, we will hold that until the video drops if you see stuff that you like please don't email me or message me saying you want something uh just come to our auctions and uh that's where you can get it unless it's something that's not auction worthy then it's gone it's good 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 all right now this guy it's so nice i wish we had the combo because it's kind of a shame to bust it up all right that's okay we bust things up, it's fun. You know what? I actually wasn't the last person to use this mallet. No joke. <laughs> Not kidding. One of my kids used it. That's why I went in wrong. Okay, guys. Ready for what's on phone? Yes. Sorry, Mr. Cabinet. We're gonna wreck ya. And guys, when you do work like this, it's very important to have the proper footwear on, okay? You, you can decide what I meant by that. Not the proper footwear is what I mean. Okay, that's... <laughs> we don't even need the hammer, probably. Yep. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Let me guess, Ikea. Okay, that's not very exciting. See that? Just stained stuff. Mm -hmm. Not exciting. And... Alright guys, we're going to wrap this video up. What a series. I think this is like five or six episodes, at least, unless some of the episodes went long and we cut them in half. We tend to do that. Um, this right here, guys, <laughs> one of my favorite finds only because it's, I think it's hilarious. And I think it's hilarious because I have the sense of humor of a 10-year-old boy. I have not matured in that regard, and I just think it's funny. But um, surprisingly, I put this aside because I just like putting things aside that are cool or different or unique or strange and of course valuable but this one is just like one of those funny things i gotta put that aside i looked it up sure enough this is worth 50 bucks they have uh some red ones also they made them in red but i think the black's more rare because the reds are worth like 30 35 bucks and the black ones 50 dollars on ebay crazy right crazy 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 i think it's just cool of course i would never wear this in public because that's weird but i i think it's hilarious and i might wear it uh, to embarrass one of my kids <laughs> but anyways guys thanks for watching this series i do hope that you enjoyed it i sure did this is i think um probably one of my favorite lockers that so far this year of course i think my favorite one is the first one i bought of the year which wound up having all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and a little bit of pokemon cards that was my favorite just because that was like such a surprise and it wound up making me a lot of money we made a lot of money off that one so that's a way to kickstart the year but we've been on a pretty dry streak uh but this unit i'm happy with i'm happy with it it's not a home run it's not going to set us up for months to come but it was definitely we're going to make a profit on it i think as of when recording this after the flea market and the ebay sales i've already cleared two grand uh, uh, in, uh, in sales. Not cleared, not made two grand, but sold two grand in sales after cost, you know? So only like 1,700 more to go or something. And I have so much merchandise. I have a full trailer and I have like 12 uh, totes of good stuff that we're going to bring home and go through, not including all this, you know? And that's um, stuff that'll either go into a better flea market or of course for whatnot. That's what we're really trying to get the stuff in the whatnot because it's where we make our money, guys, is, is the bet selling that better stuff. I'd say 2% 
of the merchandise brings us like 80% of our profit. So uh, it's very important. But also look, one thing I was just reflecting on after that day Wednesday when I went to the flea market and then went and finished cleaning out the unit. That I think was one of my hardest days or longest days in this business. That was a very long day. I figured it was, I think 14 hours out the door, back in the door, 14 hours out. And it was almost complete work besides driving. But even that's kind of stressful. Driving a 16 foot trailer is stressful. Uh, it's not relaxing. It, that was a long day, physically exhausting. I wish I'd, I'm not complaining at all. I love physically exhausting days. I love feeling like you've spent your entire battery and you come home and you hit the sack. And that's one of those nights where I, when I laid down, we turned the TV on and it's just like, you feel like you're sinking. You feel like you're laying in water and you're just starting to sink to the bottom. Like sleep just overtakes you. It's this wonderful sensation that you don't get that often because you really have to run it hard that day to feel that tired. And I like it. But also, um, you know, when I got home, I because I had to put stuff in the in the back of the truck because the trailer was so full I had to unload that and uh, so that the work wasn't done I'm just saying out the door in the door 14 hours and then there's a little bit more work uh, involved that day too so anyways um, I love it but that was a long day maybe my longest ever in the business but um, if not definitely one of the longest days in the business and I'm glad that at 53 years old and after doing this for like 12 years I can say that uh, I'm definitely don't feel like I'm going easier I always try to push myself and be better every day and uh, that's how, what I think makes you stronger. You know, if you don't push yourself, you will not get stronger. You'll get weaker. I think you're either getting stronger or you're getting weaker. I think that about you physically. And I think about, I've always thought about that in business, like my business, when I'm looking at whatever business I was running, if you're not growing, you're shrinking. If your business isn't growing, it is shrinking. You can never keep this, right? And I think the same physically, you can never just keep this. We have age working against this too, but I do feel like pushing yourself, trying to do more uh, will make you stronger. Of course, not forever. You can't always keep that up because age, Age is, you know, you're swimming upstream, but uh, that age, that river of age is pushing you downstream. You're swimming up, but we can still get stronger. We can still offset that as much as possible. Um, another thing that I was reflecting on afterwards in this unit is just the fact that the people lost the unit. They seem to have money. They seem to buy nice things. I mean, look at a big stack of Funko Pops. Who needs Funko Pops? You should only be buying Funko Pops if you have some disposable income. If you're like, I got the mortgage paid. I got money in the bank. I got an emergency fund. Maybe your retirement fully funded let's buy some toys somebody who's that close to basically losing everything not by not paying on your facility uh your rent which is about 450 bucks a month at that spot uh you shouldn't be buying toys in my opinion you shouldn't own a quad um <laughs> i think that I think there were some financial decisions that should have been made much earlier in these people's life and maybe they couldn't for some reason like maybe it's an emotional thing they couldn't do it I don't know what their plan was but it obviously failed them and uh, speaking with the management before we left because I did give them back a, only one tote of photos it wasn't a big tote it was just one all the photos the entire locker one one tote one clear tote crazy I gave it back to the facility the guy told me he goes yeah I think the guy was homeless and I'm like really and he goes yeah I think he was homeless because he'd come in his truck and he'd, or he didn't say truck, he said car. So whatever it is, I, maybe I'm just thinking truck. But he says he'd come every day and just uh, sit there and just hang out in the locker. And he's like, I felt bad for him because I felt like he probably didn't have somewhere to go. But at the same time, he's like, we can't let people loiter. We have a no loitering policy, which a lot of facilities do. But um, he's like, you know, so sometimes I have to go over and say, hey man, I'm really sorry, you can't stay. And uh, it's really sad, it's really sad. Now, I don't know if he was just speculating that the guy was homeless or if there's something conversation they had that reinforced that but he believes the guy was homeless at the end and i'm just like man and he said the man uh, not management but the guys working there said i don't know why he didn't come every time he came just load his car up and bring that stuff off and sell it and pay his bill and get money to live he goes i don't get it and i'm like man i don't get it either because the guy had some good stuff tool sell super easy i don't get it i just really don't get it but i just want to say like people do weird things with finances right people do things that don't make sense people do things that are destructive to them financially. One time we bought one with the person who claimed to be homeless, yet I found tickets, plane tickets, and travel stuff that, that suggested she went to Hawaii recently. And I'm just like, how does that make sense? How does that add up? But people do things, people make terrible decisions basically with their finances. And so one last thing I just wanted to say, because I felt compelled to mention it or talk about it, is like, if you guys are having trouble financially, if you're fearful, especially if you have fear or anxiety over your finances, like there's great resources out there to help you make better decisions, to help you get organized, to help you understand what things you should be buying or not buying. Sometimes things get a little blurry and they get
get gray and you're not sure, does this make sense? Should I do this financially? There is resources out there. And one resource that I do recommend is Dave Ramsey's uh, material. It's I, There's a lot out there that's free. He has classes you can ten, uh, attend that are at local churches. Uh, that's where Jenna and I went long ago to one during the recession. And uh, we, we went through the class and it had some great information. It has some information in there that I don't personally agree with and I didn't practice afterwards, but I get why he suggests it because it makes things very simple and it does help people if they're out of control, uh, get control of their money. So anyways, I just want to mention that and recommend that to anyone who feels out of control in that regard because it can be very stressful and it can be very, um, it can cause anxiety and who needs that? That's no way to live. That sucks. Uh, there's a better way. All right. Maybe your financial position is inevitable and you're going to be going through some hardship soon, or maybe you can completely avoid it and live comfortably and well. Um, and maybe the decisions you make today will help either make that situation easier or avoid it altogether. Eh, that'd be great, right? Let's let's hope that there's time and you can do it. And again, uh, the Dave Ramsey stuff is, is a great place to start. But then, of course, you can take your financial education further than that. But anyways, guys, thank you. I mean, but basically the fundamental, the be the most important thing is live below your means. Live below your means. Something I practice since I was young. I know there's been some times in my life where I let that slip and spend more than I should and uh, regretted it afterwards, right? But, uh, and sometimes that got me in trouble, you know? Buying a house is too expensive before a recession. That one got me in trouble. Uh, that one set me back a ways, but live below your means, right? And if you can afford to go out and buy a McLaren, go ahead and do it. If But most people don't have that, right? If you can go out and buy a brand new car, go do it if you can afford it. But uh, probably you can't, probably you shouldn't, probably you should buy a used car. So, you know, it's like if you, if you're living below your means, then you can make the decision of what you can afford and what you should be spending and what kind of debt you maybe should not be getting into, right? Living below your means, best practice. It gives you peace in your life for finances, which not many people have. So anyways, that's my two cents, guys. And probably just ranting and boring you at this point, but thanks for listening if you're still on. And I appreciate you watching the series. Um, it was a great one. All right. But got some really exciting things coming up. We're doing an estate sale next weekend. We're hosting it for our friend. His parents passed a, a year or two ago and they need to empty that house so they can prepare it for the next step, sell, rent, whatever it is. We're going to help them with that. So we're excited and we're also, we know it's going to be a challenge. It's a lot of work and something new. We're going to have to learn a lot. Guys, we're going to do it with you. We're going to film the whole process. Fun, fun, fun. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's, uh, okay, wait, actually it's not that bad, but it's not that good either. <laughs> 20 bucks, guys, yeah, 20 bucks. What do you see, what do you see, what do you see? Furniture, and that doesn't do so good. Actually, if somebody else would have bought it, I would have asked to buy that chair off.